Hi guys, how are you? I hope that you're going amazing and fun and you guys are safe at your home. So this is our time, you know, when we can spend a quality time with our friends and family and we can, you know, uh, discover ourselves. We never know if we have any hidden talents and we don't have time to explore this. This is your time. So what I'm going to film today is actually something that one of the most, no, I think the second most requested uh, video on my channel so far. This is the Jacqueline Hill volume 2 palette guys to be very honest uh when i when i saw this uh, palette i was not that much keen to buy this the reason is because it's more about reds and purples so i was like mm, how many times i'm gonna wear it so let me just open it and this is how it looks like like same i think like the her previous one now this is her og palette on outside more as you can see it's a little dirty like this kind of similar and like this let me open it for you guys so okay. so this is the one the, the volume 2 with like you can see purples and all these um yellow colors pop of yellow some warm tones as well some shimmery shades and some purples and maroon so you can see this is her og palette this is her volume 2 palette so yeah so today of course i'm not gonna use this one and this time she has added names alongside which is good so you can get 35 shades i have a plan that i don't know i'm sure someone has done it this time i mean now that's a thing that if you want to do something unique you can't because on youtube you can find everything online i haven't seen anything but i'm gonna do all the swatches one by one on my whole eyelid so i'm not gonna create any look today i'm just gonna swatch and see how this color is gonna blend individually and on this wet uh, concealing base and let's see how it's gonna look like so let's start the review so guys, as you can see, I've already uh, concealed my eyes and I've actually used the same foundation, the Smashbox one, because it's a very full coverage one, so I thought it's a good way to use it, so I'm using this one. I have this white shade, which is called Certified. It's like a plain, like white shade. So I don't think so, I'm gonna swatch this one. You can already tell it's complete like white shade, a very, very pigmented white, you can see beautiful like extremely pigmented so i think i'm gonna start with the next shade i just call i'm in it i'm gonna use brush or finger whatever i think this is the morphe brush without a name so i'm gonna take this shade here can you see it's like a holographic one So guys, they are actually very different in person. Well, this one is more like warm tone. This is like a little bit of, it's also warm tone but a little peachy. It's a little bit brownish with the red tones in it. It is kind of, it, this one is peachy. So yeah, it's definitely different. Sorry guys, uh, my camera battery died and I didn't realize and I've already done two of these. Anyways, let me just tell you what I've done. So on the clean base, what I've used, I've uh, used said no joke and Thalia. This yellow, I would say it, it kept its uh, yellowishness, but it's more like, it's not like bright yellow. It's like mustard yellow. You understand what I'm saying? It's on, like, if you can see in the pan, it's just like a neon yellow but on my eyes it's like uh mango yellow so if i do like this let me let me do this like this so you can see but because it's mad you can see here so after this so many layers if i use my finger then i can see the yellow that neon yellow thing but if i'm gonna blend this let's say if i'm gonna blend this shade I'm gonna blend the edges 
of course which i think i should so it will be like this can you see from where i blended you can see if you can see from where i have blended you can see that it just turns into a little bit orangey or mustardy but from here where i have really touched it it's like neon yellow so that's the one thing which i need to you know, mention on this shade Thalia, you know it's just reminding me the shade luna in pat mcgrath's palette it was more glitter this is more like shimmer but it's such a like it's very beautiful gold uh but i disagree here when i saw jacqueline heels uh swatch video she said that it's, it's just bright gold it has no greens or anything like that no bronzy not green i disagree i can see a hint of lamish greenish touch to it it's not like yellow like bang on gold it's not like that Oh, this is like a bang on orange shade you can tell blends i have blend the edges and blends pretty nicely about this shade called home body it just looks like red toned brown shade but actually when i blend it i can feel kind of purplish brown you know peeking through and if you can see but well, i can see some purplish undertone you know coming out of it which is i don't mind but it looks very pretty i mean very very pigmented it looks like like you know loose pigments when you put on your eyes it looks like that Guys, this peach shade called Positivity. What you can see in the pan, I don't know if you can see in person, it's like a neon pink. You know, and it's actually like that, like peachy pink. I can see actually same like in the pan. Lovely. This hmm, cool tone brown. I know I'm finding it hard. I don't know if you can tell. I'm finding it hard to blend the edges. But the color itself is very nice, but I'm really finding it hard to blend. Um, so guys, just and then heads up that the color called Positivity, that neon peachy pink shade, it actually literally stained my eye a little bit, but I put some concealer on so you can't see for any. So now the next shade will be my man. So on these shade, what I can see, you can see the shocking pink shade, and this shade it looks like like a reddish maroonish shade, but it has like pink and purples undertone. As you can see when I blend it, uh, you can see the edges here. When I blend it, I can see some purple undertone peeking through. Can you see that? I hope you can. So, but this one is true to the color, like very really shocking pinky, but it is reddish maroonish with purples and pink undertone. Just a, this is a difference you can see but the pigmentation is beautiful so there's another heads up for you guys the shade called live in my best it actually stained my whole eyelid you can tell you can you can tell what has happened so i have to cover this with the uh, very full coverage concealer What do you think guys? Kind of same tone again. It's a little bit lighter pink. A little bit shocking pink. Purple pink. I mean, kind of again. Similar tones. Both of these shades are beautiful. I mean, these are together. Good combination. 
So far very good and the thing the black the sorry the purple is has is very opaque it is not you know uh, losing its um, color which is damn good again I think this shade it looks like that I've already swatched Hi guys, so I have finally finished my whole eye swatches. Literally, my eyes are extremely tired now. I'm sure they're saying that Zuha, please forgive us. Anyway, so I have finally made it through till the end. Here is my final feedback. Uh, compared to our first OG one, I just want to say one thing. This palette is way more pigmented. You know, when you take loose eyeshadow and when you put on your eyes, that is how I feel with this volume two. Is it something you want to buy? Or is it something that is very necessary? Is it something that you have to have to get into collection? So my answer would be no. Yes, my answer would be no because it is more like purples and pinks. Uh, if you're somebody who who's like, fond of these colors who love to wear these colors at all times i definitely recommend this is the one of the funnest beautiful palette i have seen uh in terms of purples and uh pinks and neons but for those who wear like warm tones every day just like me i wear warm tones every day to my office for someone like you i would say that this is not your palette and do you want to spend 39 pounds on it I don't think so. It is worth it. It definitely worth it. Shades are very opaque. You know, when you apply like deep shades. Uh, I've already also swatched this black shade. Although I was like, no, it's black is like black. But I just want to uh, swatch this just because I want to see if it's uh, sometimes when, when you blend the black, it turns into gray. I can see a little bit, it's, but it's not like drastically gray. It is beautiful black, very opaque. Same with the purples. Purples are very, very tough. I use a couple of purples and they are very like patchy. Sometimes they're really hard to blend. You can find similar shades in these palettes. I mean, especially in terms of these uh, warms. I can see they're quite, they're so similar. Uh, when you swatch, they're very minor difference. I mean, to be honest, I don't really care if you're like, if you're somebody who, who's very keen of different, different tones, definitely it's worth it. But to be honest, when I swatched it, they are very similar, uh, especially these transition shades. I mean, these uh, transitions, these two and these three are very like uh, similar, which I don't know what is the concept of this. There are different, different, you know, tones of purple. You have different, different tones of pinks, basically. There's only uh, three shades, which I would say they're very different. That this yellow shade, this gold shade, and this whole holographic shade. These three are very different, but otherwise every shade is how you can see the similarities between like they have some similarities, they have some similarities. So that is like that. So and one thing I just need to mention, is this something for beginners or professional? This is 101% I would say it is professional palette. I would say if you are somebody who is a beginner, I would highly recommend using her OG palette shades. You can see so much warms in here. Um, but if you're someone who loves to play colors and you're professionals the professional this palette is such a beautiful beautiful palette a little bit my hands are a little stained now uh, otherwise overall the palette is beautiful very pigmented exceptionally beautiful tones of purples i mean you can find all the kind of purple tones in it so yeah that is uh, my review guys do when you watch my videos uh please because there's so much hard work as you can see i have literally how many times i have rubbed my eyes and put some other concealer and swatched for you just a, it's a very long process just not for me i'm just you know saying on behalf of all the youtubers and bloggers it takes so much time to film a video to edit them and put on your on the youtube channel it takes so much time so for you guys well i would highly highly say please do subscribe and just click on that subscribe button that means a lot to 
all of us so thank you so much for tuning in i hope you guys are doing amazing very very good luck be safe and spread love you can find me on social media all things zoha i have also started my tiktok uh with the name all things zoha youtube all things so all my handles are same so yeah thank you so much guys see you in my next video bye